This is David Mamet of Lotto Odds. It is March 1st of 2016. Okay, uh, the pattern, the odd even pattern feature has been launched uh, with the combined winners for pick four, and you can go ahead and use that in your account. Uh, the number pattern feature has been completed, and it will be launched hopefully today, uh, the latest tomorrow. All right, I'm going to uh, create an example of how to utilize these features again and to just give you an idea how they're used okay so this is just an example this is a tool a lot of odds it is up to you to utilize these tools to um, catch the next winner alright and the majority of the times uh, the winners will be in here and of thousands of numbers okay pick four has a four, 10,000 numbers um, so this box tends to produce five to six thousand and then the number pattern features and odd even pattern feature will reduce them to hundreds and even under a hundred I'm going to show you how that's done right now okay I'm going to use the New York uh, state lottery and from now on I'm going to start mixing up the state lottery so people could see that you can use them for their specific lottery and when I say use them meaning using the prediction tools here and all you have to do is just punch in your numbers manually right there all right, okay, so let's start. Okay, uh, we're dealing with from New York yesterday evening, February 29, 2016, 4555. Five, five. What are we dealing with here? Let's see, the beginning and ending numbers were even and odd, prior numbers even and odd. All right, so let's go to even odd patterns here. What are we dealing with? Um, let's, let me take out this. Hold on a second. Let's just clear, clear this out the way. All right, you know what? Let's start. I'm going to start this easier. Okay, let's start with the second number position. We're dealing with odd, 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 odd. The chance of another odd command is low, so we're dealing with probably even number coming out next. All right, so let's work with only the even ones in the second position. And that's what we have right there. All right, and uh, I'm not going to work with the four evens because they don't tend to come out all the time. I mean, they could come out. Could come out next. I'm uh, not too sure, but uh, I don't like working with them because I just wasting time it creates more numbers when they ra rarely come out all the time. All right, so what are we dealing with next? Okay, um, first position again is even, end position is odd, so even odd, prior is even odd again, so uh, the chance of it coming out again is low. It could come out, I've seen them come out six in a row, depending on a lot of machines and a lot of balls. So let's just say it doesn't come out, so we're going to take out um, even and odd. Okay, even odd, these are gone. All right, so what are we dealing with next? Okay, let's see here. Odd, odd, we did that. Odd, even, odd, odd, even, even. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's look at the last number position, fourth position. Let's go down. One, two, three, four. Uh, if, the, if it does not repeat, and they tend not to repeat, okay, like for example, if the winner, four, five, five, five. Look, one, eight, nine, four did not repeat. Four, seven, three, three did not repeat. One, three, seven, four did not repeat. Two, three, zero, two did not repeat. But be careful, because like this winner, two, one, four, one, three, zero, two, the two repeated, and you could t be taking out uh, a winner if you use the number pattern feature to take out the twos. All right. So anyway, so for this example, we're gonna say that they, they don't repeat. The prior four numbers don't repeat in each uh, number position going vertically. So five, how many odd and evens do we have? We're dealing with pick four, so it's zero to nine. So five even, five odds. So here we have five, one, nine. Three evens came out. Uh, excuse me, three odds came out. That means we have four evens that are outstanding and two odds. That means evens are dominating. So, so the next number possibly even could come out so if even comes out what are we dealing with here we take out all the numbers ending in odd so we have even so let's look at the first number of positions we got four two three zero uh, what are we dealing with here we've got uh, three evens so the odds are dominating so if the odd comes out next what are we dealing with we're dealing with these two and this is gone all right so we have one left let's look at the other number position the last one which is the third because we worked out the second so we have five four, seven, three. So what's dominating here? Dominating is the even. So if the even is dominating, we're working with this number here, or this pattern. Odd, even, even, even. But I, for this example, I'm going to work with these two. So we're going to go back to the prediction tool here, and we're going to punch in 
four five 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 from the past winning numbers, uh, New York Lottery, and two one four one, and three three seven eight and zero seven three nine. There you go. Apply. Mix the mouse. Spits up down here, and there you go. Apply again. I'll wait for the number count to finish. Four thousand. Five thousand. As a finished, 5,600 we're dealing with. Okay, no problem uh, because we're going to reduce them. All right, so turn off odd even patterns, goes down to zero, and we're dealing with odd even, even, even. All right, odd even, 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 and odd even, odd even, odd even, odd even. So we're down to 689 numbers. We're still going to reduce that. Okay, so now what are we dealing with here? The next thing we're going to do. Is if the prior numbers here do not repeat in next winner, we can remove all of them. But at, again, that's your strategy. That's up to you. You may want to just remove the numbers in the previous winner. So it'd be four five five, four five 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 in each number position. Uh, for this example, I'm going to remove all four in each number position. So starting with the end number position, we're going to remove five one eight nine. Watch the total number six eight nine. Watch how they start going down. So remove 5189, 5189, third down position 5473, 5473, okay, second down position 5137, and the first down position 4230. Okay, so these are the numbers that you left with, 226 numbers with two odd even patterns, and uh, not bad, huh? Um, but look, if you could do better than this and you could get it down to one odd even pattern, because it all starts with odd even patterns, look how many you'll have left, 77. Isn't that awesome? Okay, and if you do it correctly, the winner will be in here, okay, most of the time. Okay, because this prediction tool, and I'm, I'll show you, I showed you in past videos how it catches the winners most of the time. Okay, so I don't have to repeat that. Uh, all right, so we're dealing with 226 from this example that I put in. Let me just show you the, the patterns here, or the numbers that came out. Uh, these are the inverted numbers. All right, just in case one of these is winners, want to take credit for it. All right, and let me show you something else too before I end this video. Okay, this is from the New Jersey Lottery website, but it works on any state lottery website, these patterns. Look at this. Look at these patterns. The odd-even patterns could actually alert you to the next odd-even patterns, and I'm going to show you what you could do with that. All right, look at here. You have two evens, two evens, two evens, two evens. So these, the prior patterns, alerted you to the next pattern. So what can you do with that? All right, watch this. All right, hold on a second. And we're dealing with two evens, right? All right, so look. Take this out so I can show you this example. All right, so here, let's work with two evens, okay? Two evens, two evens. Let's try this quickly. Two evens, two evens, All right? And here is two evens here and two evens here. All right. All right, so you could start out with that, right? Okay? By looking at the past patterns, all right? And watch how, how this could be reduced. Look. All right, so if we had numbers like this in New York Lottery, okay, um, start with, look, first starting number is even, odd, prior is even, odd. So let's take out all the even, odd. All right here, this is out. This is out, right? So even, odd, even, odd. All right, so what's the next one? All right, second number position was odd, 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 odd. Possible even coming out is high. So take out the ones with an even in the second position. That's out. That's out. So we got two left, right? All right. So let's keep on working this. Look at the last number position. If these numbers don't repeat, which numbers are which patterns are dominating? You got five, one, eight, nine. So even is dominating. So if even comes out, uh, what do you have left? You got get rid of this. Even comes out. You got these two still. Okay. So look at the first number position. You got even, even, odd, even. So odd is dominating. So if so if odd comes out, what do you have left? You have one left. You have that left. You see that? That pattern. That's how powerful this is. You have to start out with the odd even pattern feature. You need to start out with this. Okay, say if we were dealing with this, just this pattern, odd, odd, even, even. 
All right, um, let's see what we have now. Odd, odd, even, even. Odd, odd, even, even. You're dealing with 29 numbers, right? Shit, hold on a second. Turn. You know, I'm going to leave these numbers off again because um, we worked these out before. We would take them out now anyway. I'll, I'll take them out. So you, you, you wind up with 29 numbers, okay? And the window could be in here. All right, so this is how powerful these odd, uh, even, and number patterns are. I mean, how fast could you do this in your own mind? And just to point out one thing, look, in, in the, this is New York State Lottery website. Look, you have three odds here, right? Okay, uh, look at this one here. You have three odds here, right? And look at this here. You have three odds here, right? Okay, uh, look at this. Three odds here coming out, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, look, you have two evens here. Well, let's see. One even, two evens. You have three evens there. All right. All right, so the odds are coming out. You see, so it does give you kind of a hint. So you get the idea, right? I wish you luck.